Ooh, we got some we got some things to discuss, y'all. We got first of all early access to the new Photoshop app on Android. Now it isn't beta, but it is the app that we have grown to love on our computers now on our phones. So today, what I'm gonna be doing is breaking down what it can do, how I use it, and how it can power your work as a creator. With all of that said, let's jump into this. Now, a really quick overview of how things work here is that you have, you know, your video tutorials up here at the top, and this is where you can grab an image from your photos, or you can tap the plus symbol for more options. Like you can even take a photo from within the app itself here. And you'll notice also down here at the bottom, we will be having the option to import directly from Lightroom soon within Android as well. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna, you know, choose a photo to play with for now. Now, when you open an image, you have the quick menu of tools at the bottom. Size will let you resize the image to fit a lot of different popular formats and then if you go back to the main menu retouch here you have spot heal which will remove small blemishes or pimples there's also the remove option which is going to take out items altogether which is best for like people objects there are other options in here but some of them are coming later as well but taking it back to the main page one more time this select area tool this one might be my favorite section because it lets you manually grab individual items in the picture picture and adjust it. Like I can select a hat or a shirt and only adjust the color of that and nothing else. So one thing this has been good for, can easily add text to a picture. So like when I make an Instagram carousel, I like to write a little caption on the photo so you can get a feel for what's going on in the picture. And the way that you can do that as well within Photoshop here is to first open up the photo that you want. So I just got my S25 Edge here not too long ago, still getting settled in and all that, and we will talk about that, so yeah. But now that we're in here, I'm gonna go to camera and I'm gonna choose a photo, so we're gonna play with this one. So something I would like to do to this is I know I mentioned adding small captions, but I really wanna add the word airport behind the suitcase. First thing I wanna do is duplicate my photo. So I'm gonna go to layer properties, these three dots down here, and then choose duplicate. So I'm gonna make sure I have the top one selected and then I'm gonna just exit out of here and I'm gonna choose create mask. Now when I choose create mask, it's gonna scan the photo and pull out anything that it detects is an object. So it automatically detected my coffee cup, my suitcase, my shirt and my shoes. Just like on Photoshop on our computers, we also got the quick select brush tool, lasso, object select, magic wand and the brush. I'm gonna come here and hit the check mark and now when I look in here, we'll see that I have the layer, which is the suitcase, coffee cup, and my shirt, and then the layer, which is the background. Now to add text, we're gonna hit the plus symbol, and then we're gonna hit type layer, and I'm just gonna type in airport. I can just drag it up here on the screen. I can easily resize it, and I can easily rotate it, y'all. Like, I like that, because normally you gotta tap around to get to that option. Now, I did accidentally forget to move this to the bottom, so I'ma just come in here, hit the three dots, and hit move down. So now it's underneath the coffee cup and the suitcase. And I'ma just continue to get it into position the way that I want. And just to add a little razzle, I'ma hit the skew option. This lets me stretch the letters at a certain angle. So this makes it look even more like it's etched into the actual floor. This can really sell the effect if I can even get it together. Close enough. All right, so now that I have everything the way that I want it, I'ma hit the check mark. I can also play with the way that it's blending into the floor. So I can go to blend and opacity and you know, bring the opacity down just a little bit so that, you know, it's not so bold. I think that's helping. But I do wanna change my font. So I'ma go over here now to text option, tap here where it says font family and all the fonts I have installed on my phone are gonna show up. So I'ma just choose something a little bit more bold. Yeah, I like that actually. Y'all might see this on my feed on Instagram, so <laughs> you got a little heads up on what's to come. <laughs> but nonetheless, that's the way that you can do that. You can change the style, the size of it as well from here if you wanna manually do it without, you know, the way that we did it earlier. Now, if I wanna add a little more razzle to it, I can always hit the plus symbol and then tap on image layer. And this is gonna let me, you know, add either another picture in it or I can add free content from Adobe Stock. 
So now I have access to their photo library. So I can type in something like, I'm gonna type in airplane. I like this one because it looks like it has a transparent background. So I'm gonna choose okay. Oh my gosh, tell me this is not giving what it's supposed to give. Oh man, selecting it is tough. There we go. This is selling it for me. And of course, if you make a mistake, you can always hit undo up here at the top. <laughs> so I'm getting kind of deep into this edit right now, a little bit more than I intended to. That's just a little example of what we can do before I go down a rabbit hole of an edit on this, which is very easy to do, okay? The real impressive thing for me though is how this can remove something from the background. So this is a photo that I was working on in a different app. And if you look, you can see that I was trying to remove the <laughs> people back here and it did a terrible job of doing that. But I brought it here in Photoshop and actually hit retouch here at the bottom. Highlighted just that specific area. I can come here and select generative fill and I'm gonna type in outside, rooftop. Did a terrible job selecting that area, so we'll see how well it does. So it's giving me a couple of options, so I have, oh, there we go. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, nice. My favorite is this last one. And if I wanted more, I can hit more, but I don't want to lose these. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the check mark here. And wow, it did an amazing job even considering how sorry of a job I did at selecting that area. So that's nice, like, wow. Another thing I can use this for is to remove blemishes, but I'm gonna use my uh, Monroe as an example here. So I'm gonna just zoom in and if I tap retouch, and I select spot heal and just tap on what I want to remove and then gets rid of it. But I think the little brush tool was a little bit bigger than I would want. So I'ma just come here and tap spot heal, then tap on size, bring it down a little bit closer to what the size of my Monroe is and then tap that and it does a better job removing it. And I'ma just for giggles tap my, oh wow, my mold, there we go. This is something that I thought was funny. So like, this is a photo of my friend Everyday Cache and I. What I can do is come here and hit select area and then select lasso tool. And I'm just gonna highlight around Cache. Now I'm gonna come down here and hit the check mark, generate to fill, and I'm gonna just tap generate to see what it does. Oh, wow. What? really removed her kind of good though. All right, let's try and put it as a person. Let's say, uh, Beyonce. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Yo, it looks like he's there. That's a while. I'm sure if I did a better job tracing it or whatever, the images would look different, but nonetheless, it's just fun. <laughs> Another thing I like to do to my photo is come in here while, you know, the stuff is selected and choose the plus symbol and adjustment layer. And these are the options we have in here. Some are coming later, but there are a few here now. I also like that I can choose a specific color in the image that I want to change. Another thing I've been working on within Photoshop is creating my ebook cover. I do currently have a content creator guide out. It will be linked below. It's ultimately an ebook that helps people get their content creation journey started, the best gear to use, and tips and tricks as well. But I'm creating the cover of my new ebook within here. And it's nice to be able to pick up my project wherever I left off, regardless if I'm on my Android phone, iPhone, or my computer. Because I have apps that I like, but most of them, you know, they don't work on all of my devices like this. I'm glad to see Photoshop on Android and I'm excited for the features. It is in beta, so the premium features within it are currently free for a limited time. So now is a good time to test it out if you're eyeing it. But y'all, until the next one, that's gonna But nonetheless, y'all, until the next one, as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.